Hey guys and girls, Foxy Works here and today I am going to be doing a tutorial on um, how to make a house, um, a medieval looking house. Now, the, the server what I'm doing this on is, two seconds guys, I'm just going to... Okay, so it's just clean the weather, sorry about that guys. And time is... Uh, Uh, so we so you can all see it so here we are so today I'm just going to show you how to make um, a house in my server what is the medieval server for some strange reason I've got a portal in that house I'm just going to quickly go and delete that sorry guys so yeah guys this is on my medieval adventure adventure map um, and oh no sorry it was just the bed so yeah guys and um, this map will be out soon in the next couple of months um, at the moment me and a couple of my friends like Mayor the J117 and his friend and all that are making this um, map um, as you can see this is the main spawn area you'll spawn around here and you have to do quests in here and then you'll go and expand to other parts of the world and all that but yeah, so today I'm showing you how to build a house. So first of all, all I'm going to do is have to get rid of all this and show you exactly what you need in your inventory to do this. So what you want to do is, first of all, you're going to need oak wood. Second of all, you're going to need oak wooden planks. Next of all, you're going to need... If I can find them, sorry guys. Oak wooden stairs. Um. Second, next of all, you're going to need stone bricks. And after that, you're going to need cobblestone walls and stone brick. Now, these are your bare essentials at the beginning of making this. Oh, sorry, guys. You're also going to need wool. So these are your bare essentials. When you start this to make a house in this, these are what you'll need. Now, you can choose how you're going to make your house from this, guys. Because this isn't just me telling you exactly how you're going to make it. You can look at this tutorial and then go and try to make it in a different way. So first of all, you just want to create something a bit like this. And then something like this. As this will be your doorway here. Next of all is just this part here. And then you want to go one, two, three. And then after that you want to go one, two, three. And you're left with something like this. Now, if you really want, guys, you can move this in one here, move this in one here, and move this in one here. And this will add to a different kind of def um, effect for the house. And I think we're going to go for this in this episode. So next of all, you just want to mark out about one, two, three, four, five, and place a block here. As well, just place a block here. So you've basically got a design going like this. As you can see, this is out one. Basically, we're going to duplicate what's happening on that side, on this side, but just with this way as well. So now we've placed that there, all we want to do is just go... Um, the same level here, and place that block there. Now, where this starts here, you want to make this one in. So this kind of goes in a bit. And then this side. Sorry guys. I'm just going to have a spare block there. Just in case I need to fill any floor in. So on this side guys. What you're going to need to do. Is do this. So basically now you've got your rough design for your house. Something will look a bit like this. Now this isn't copying anything off. What I previously built. This is me going from. Like from just building. So next of all you want to fill in where the where the windows are going to be. And we're going to have the windows here. On this part we're going to have no windows. On this part we're going to have no windows. On this part over here we're going to have a window. Now, just to tell you guys, when you get a thing like this where you can't place another window in, all you want to do is just make this something a bit like this. So it basically goes like an L shape. And in here we're going to have a window. 
So now we've got a pretty simple design for the house. But now on this side. Now this side is going to be really important because this is going to match out how the rest of the house looks. So for this side you always want to make sure that you're going to have this like this. Now you can make this a bit wider the house if you want or a bit smaller. It's up to you. But for this we're going to make sure about one about here in to it we have a piece sticking out like this to add a bit more effect into the house so now we've got a bit like something a bit like this here we're gonna have blocks going like this and here that's gonna be up as well so next of all guys all I'm gonna do is just fill this up to the level and I'll be back in a minute so hey guys I'm back and I've built this up to the next level. Now I'll quickly show you around and show you what I've done. I've filled in these parts here. So these parts are matching now. And over here I've made it so the L shape goes all the way up and I haven't filled in this block for a, for a very spit suspi oh, I can't say it. So very sus oh, I can't say it. I'll, that's just that word, okay. So, suspicious. Oh, I really can't say it. So, yeah. So, <laughs> now we've got this here. Um, sorry, guys, if I just fill this in, I'll show you what you do next. Now, you can make this as high as you want and as low as you want. So, next of all, you want to do is make sure this next level is four high. So, one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. Oh crap! I'm using a wireless mouse, guys, at the moment, so my mouse has been working up a bit lately. So if I end up placing loads and loads of blocks, I'm sorry. So yeah, so we just want to go all the way around like this and I'll be back when I finish doing that. So hey guys, I'm back and I've built this. Next of all is placing in your wool. Now the wool is very important where you place it because you don't want to place it in the wrong place as it will look messy and untidy. So wherever you place it, you want to make sure it always looks clean and tidy. So I'm deciding to put a window in here. And this part, we're just going to fill this in here. I don't know how this will look in the end. As you can see, guys, see, see those rapid block movements? That's not me, that's my mouse. Um, so, as you can see, the, I'm going to fill in this side the same as this because when you've got really, really huge open areas, you want them to always be filled in. As you can see, over these parts over on my um, inn, had those filled in. So, then you've got a quite tall but small house. The next thing to do is make is make it at the back. So what I'm gonna do at the back guys is for this part here, now if you do a L shape below, sorry guys, if you do an L shape below, and um, what I'll end up doing is well three and I'm not doing this. So guys if you end up doing an L shape below, you always want this to be filled in. So here you want I'm gonna have this filled in as I've got that side with the window and all obviously on this side I want this bit to be filled in now here I'm going to do an L shape and on this side I'm going to have this filled in so next of all is me just putting the next level on and starting to do the roof I'll be back in a minute when I've done that so yeah guys I'm back and I've just finished building these two bits Next of all is probably the most important part, and is that is not to use cobblestone brick. Now cobblestone brick will ruin the whole design of the house. So next of all is you just want to build this up like this, and leave this bottom black how it is. As that, we want to give it some style to the house, we want to make it look old. So as as well, just before I stop the video and then finish off this and then show you again, I added this bit in here to give it more of an effect to the house. 
So the house is quite roomy and quite big. And it's looking pretty good as well. So next of all guys, all I'm going to do is finish off the roof and I'll be back in a minute. So hey guys, I'm back and I've just finished off the roof and a bit more of the building. And as you can see now guys, um, I've done, I went for the same kind of, sorry guys, same kind of design as this here. And that there. Um, but the difference is I I never put one of those on for any of these buildings as you can see over here if I go over here and the reason I did that because I made this roof um, a lot higher for a reason because um, I wanted to add this kind of design at the back so everything would like join up together so it had sort of like a jagged roof kind of design and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decorate the inside and I'll see you back in a minute so hey guys, I'm back and I've um, done some more to the house. Um, so yeah, um, I added this little canopy thing outside of the house where people can just quickly go and sit in here and rest and all that. And I should really add some some chairs so see people can come and sit in here. And people can just go and sit in there. And if, as we go inside the house, I've had a little corner part here. And I've got one more thing to show you how to build in the house. But first of all, I'm just going to go upstairs. And I'm showing you the little furnace area that I made, or a little like area where like, basically like, people can just go and sit down and relax with their mates. So, next of all is probably the most important part. Um. And that's lighting. So what you need is you need to go here and just type in glowstone. Or just gl LG and then get some glowstone. Now the design that I made this is gonna be really really easy for me to do. So now all I need to do is just if I do set time night. You see this is glowing. Now when I put this on, you'll see it goes very, very dark, but it gives this nice glowy effect. Now, you can also do something like this, where it's going half a block, so you can still see out of it, people can still get light out of it. Um, that's a really nice effect, I really like that one. But yeah guys, um, tell me what you thought, thought of the tutorial. Um, if you'd like me to create anything else in this world, like making a um, industrial garden tower, what's been broken or anything, or even a windmill, maybe even some wa how to make a wall, maybe an entranceway, um, some stalls, some houses, you know what I mean? Anything like that, just tell me. Um, I really enjoy doing stuff like that. I don't know why that is like that, though. But yeah, I really enjoy doing this kind of stuff. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.